Welcome fabricators. Yesterday we had our monthly live stream with the fabric product group and Bradley Shat and I were talking about time travel and fabric data warehouse. And that's exactly what we're covering today on Tales from the Field. So what is time travel? Well, time travel in Microsoft Fabric Data Warehouse is the capability to be able to query historical data that existed in the past. How can we even do that? Our tables in our data warehouse are actually made of Delta files. Underneath the covers, everything is Delta and we've got a transaction log with the history of the operations that have occurred, much like we have in SQL Server. But one of the things that we can do is we can use this to be able to transverse that history. And that's exactly what we're able to do. Using T-SQL, we can go through the history of the changes in our table to be able to look at what those changes are. Speaking of really amazing, if this is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. Make sure and hit that bell button to get alerted for when our latest videos drop. We drop content on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we have our MS Tech Bits. On Tuesdays, we have a live stream with the product group, or we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we celebrate the creators in the Azure Data Community. All right, back to time travel. You know what? Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's go take a look at that great content. Okay, I'm starting out my Fabric Workspace and my Fabric DW, my DW EDW. And I've had a lot of activity occur on my employees table. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna find a way to be able to look at what that activity is and how I can access it so I can see what's been going on. So to do that, first, I'm gonna go back to my workspace and I'm gonna go up to the data warehouse. I'm gonna to go to the options. And the really cool thing is I've got this option for query activity. Now this opens up and I can actually search for keywords. I'm gonna search on the employees table because I know I've had activity occur on the employees table. So looking at this, really cool, I can see that it's given me a list of all the different commands that have occurred. I can see there's some updates, there's some inserts, really neat thing. I can actually filter this by saying insert into dbo.employees because that's the statement I'm seeing a lot. That's a little bit of fabric magic right there. Click on the statement. Oh, looks like we added an employee, Yoda, Jedi Master, Board of Directors. Interesting. Uh, so. I need to get a little more granular data if I want to use time travel. So where do I do that? In SSMS, using my query insights, execute request history. I'm going to look for the statements where I'm updating or I'm inserting to the table. And I can see, sure enough, I've got a lot of activity, a lot of inserts, a lot of updates. If I come back over, there's a timestamp in UTC, which I'm going to need. And there's a start time and an end time. This lets me know roundabout when these transactions were happening. Now, I take this down to the last two decimal points, and I can use those in my T-SQL. I've got a script prepared to show some of the ways that we can use this. So the first is fairly straightforward. We're going to do a select star from DBO employees where we've got this particular timestamp. Oh, I've got three employees. I've got Yoda, who's the board of directors. And then I've also got Qui-Gon Jinn, Jedi Knight, and Obi-Wan, a rebellious Padawan. How about that, little rascal? Um, maybe he'll turn himself into something one day. Who knows? But this is what I've got going on in my employees. We've added some employees. Well, that's really interesting. Let's take a look at the timestamp, the next timestamp, just to be able to show we can travel forward a little bit more. Oh, Qui-Gon left. He's no longer a current employee. That's really too bad. But... Looks like we've still got Yoda. We've still got Obi-Wan. We're doing pretty good for our company. Uh, again, I think Obi-Wan's got some good chances. Now, the really neat thing is I can also use this in dynamic SQL. If I want to pass the value through as a parameter, it has to be dynamic. So this is essentially the dynamic statement I would utilize to be able to look at the next jump in time that we had for activity that I got from my query insights. Oh, looks like we've hired someone. We've got an angsty Padawan. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, everybody seems to be a little more on edge. Uh, nice beard and uh, hair. Uh, you can see Obi-Wan's really maturing. He's a Jedi Knight now. Way to go. Uh, really good job there. I sure do miss Qui-Gon though, but that's okay. I think we're going to make do with this. This is 
looking to have a pretty good lineup. So clearly I've had a lot going on with the employees table. Now let's say I want to create a stored procedure to be able to look at this. I can use the dynamic SQL statements that we had and I can fold it into a store procedure. So I'm going to create a store procedure, a DBO Star Wars info. Feels like that's kind of where we're going with this. And you can see I've just got my create procedure, my begin, my end statement. I've got the point in time literal. Now I can create my store procedure. And what I should be able to do is run this with our next point in time. So when we run this, we can see we've got this. Oh, wow. Um, Anakin's now calling himself a Jedi Knight. Can he even do that? And he's changed his departments. Seditious conspiracy. That doesn't sound good. Uh, but we have added a new intern, uh, Sokotano. Interesting. I guess there's a lot going on with animation. Uh, Yoda is still CEO. Uh, we're, we're good on the board of directors. Obi-Wan looks a little, like he's working a little too hard. Now, the neat thing is we can come through and now you can see I can define a parameter and I can execute my store procedure. So let's look at our next jump in time on our employees table. But this time we're passing through that dynamic parameter to show that we can set a parameter and pass it through. Oh, we've got a lot of changes. We've got Kanan Juris. Uh, he looks like a Jedi Knight. Ahsoka's now a Jedi Knight. Uh, Qui-Gon's back uh, in the position of Force Ghost. Um, Obi-Wan's really sad. And Yoda's no longer on the board of directors. But it doesn't look like he's retired. More of doing a little bit of a fixer-upper kind of thing in a swamp. Looks like Anakin is no longer a current employee. I'll be honest. That kind of checks out. Uh, after he was the angsty Padawan, then he was calling himself a Jedi Knight. You don't just get to randomly do that. I even heard he took on a trainee without permission. That guy was just never going to amount to much. Anyway, we can also use more structured T-SQL statements. For example, we could do order by, and we can order by things. Oh, wow, we've expanded. Um, so Yoda's still a revisionist. Qui-Gon's back as a Force ghost. OP Obi-Wan's now a Force Ghost. Wow, we really seem to be recruiting in that department. Um, let's see. Ahsoka, Kanan, who's Ezra and Luke? They look like they've got a promising future. You know, little young blood around the company. That's not going to hurt. Uh, I think, if anything, that's just going to help us grow. All right. Not only can I use order by statements, I can also use where predicate values. So if I go ahead and jump to my next point in time that I got from my query insights, what I can see is that I can also say where we don't care about Anakin. Let's get rid of employees equal one. So, oh, uh, we've added Princess Leia. She's Jedi-ish, I guess. And she's out saving that galaxy. Good on you. Good on you. I, You know, I've got a good feeling about this lineup. I think we're really going to go places. We're going to accomplish a lot. But let's see. Yeah, uh, Luke, Jedi trainee. But for some reason, we don't call him a Padawan. I guess we're just retconning titles nowadays. All right. Well, I hope this has been a little bit fun for you. Sound off. Are you using time travel? Is this something that you're using in your environment? Are you looking forward to using it? Uh, personally, I'm really excited to keep looking at what's going on in my employee table. Okay, wait a second. So now we've got Krogu and he's a Padawan. I thought we were calling him Baby Yoda. Uh, thanks so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. Take care, everybody. Bye. Good day, wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.